no more postgraduate work permit extensions. The problem here is expectation, right? When you start expecting and sometimes when the expectations are unrealistic. Now, again, but I've been saying this, if you've been watching videos, that the likelihood of another postgraduate work permit extension is, is not there. there. There isn't any. It's negligible. There was no likelihood. Of course, if it would have happened, we would have all rejoiced, but the chances of it happening, not happening, right? And the reason for that is read the room, see the market sentiment, see what's happening in Canada right now. The cost of inflation, the housing crisis, liberals falling out of favor in terms of, of the general public. By and large, there is a huge negative sentiment across Canada, right? Housing, inflation, uh, you know, the political crisis, the way things are happening uh, against the government and, of course, the anti-immigration scenario and, and sentiment as well. In all of this, there was no way the Liberals could have gone and, and done something of extending the postgraduate work permits. Uh, because had they done that, they are already being seen as a party who is not doing much for the Canadians to protect them, to protect their labor market, to protect their jobs, to protect their, uh, you know, to, to control the inflation and, and uh, housing crisis, to have a control on that. Now, what they did was no more postgraduate work permit extensions. People who were eligible to apply for extensions until the 31st of December, that stays. So obviously, whoever is eligible, whoever's work permit is expiring until 31st of December, they are all eligible to apply for postgraduate work permit. If you are one of those who did not get the extension. When again, the point is, while it is fair to hope uh, for an expect uh, for an for an extension, the expectation that it should happen, it will happen, and then feeling uh, cheated, then feeling it's unfair, then feeling that you were wronged because it did not happen. That I don't think is the right way to look at it because by law, technically, postgraduate work permits cannot be extended. They should not be extended. Uh, you come to Canada, you study, you get one year, two year, three years, depending on your period of study, so that you can get the work exposure. And technically, if you read your SOP, that's what you're saying, I will go back, right? Uh, but we know that this is not how it works, because Canada encourages, promotes the fact that if you have work experience in Canada, you have a better option. You have studied in Canada, you have a better option. So the problem is not with people expecting the postgraduate work permit extensions. The problem is the way Canada and all the parties, the, all the stakeholders who are involved, and I'm talking about the educational institutes, the way they have packaged this whole program. So they are selling education, which to be very honest is not the best in most cases. Uh, look at the top 50 colleges, or look at the top 50 universities in the world. Where does Canada stand? Maybe a handful, two or three will, will probably crop up. Uh, McGill, University of Toronto, University of British Columbia. I can't think of anything. Maybe University of Ottawa, probably in the top 200, right? So when you have, when you are not up there, uh, but you're charging a top dollar, right? $20,000 on an average per year is the fee, average. Uh, but the quality is not really there. So what you are selling is not education. What you are selling is not a credential. What you are selling is, is not a qualification. What you are selling is a dream, a pathway to permanent residence. That is how this was being packaged. That is how it was being sold by all the agents out there who right now are pretty, pretty bummed up, right, with all this that has happened. In this scenario, what happens is that you start expecting and feeling that this is your entitlement. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. It's a privilege. It, it's given to you so that you can get some work exposure. So that if at all that you have the skill set and skill levels, then you can get you know, uh, you can see a pathway. Another issue that, that I was looking at is that people waited until the end, right? So people's work permit is expiring in January, February, March, and they do not have an option. Why were you waiting until this last minute? I mean, it was as much, I mean, it was as if you absolutely were certain that you will get an extension. So if you are waiting right till the very end and, and expecting that you will get uh, the extension and now that you're not getting it, you can't blame Canada for it, right? You, you have to blame the lack of research. You have to blame lack of planning. You have to blame uh, lack of effort of not having done enough to get your pathway through. Postgraduate work permit extensions, the way they have happened, trust me, listen, I am not, I'm not against you. Don't get offended. And if you're getting offended, well, I cannot do much to, to soothe you or, or sympathize with you in this manner because uh, you have to first separate the, the, the flak from the wheat. Uh, you have to sort of separate uh, and understand that there is a reality and then there is 
unrealistic expectation. So drop the unrealistic expectation, understand the reality. And now what are your options? Look at those. I'm going to talk to you about the options in just about a bit. But before we get to that, understand that, and this is for people who are preparing and planning to come to Canada. Understand postgraduate work permit extensions, which was which was happening earlier, is not going to happen. COVID was a big reason. COVID is long gone. Uh, that does not impact until and unless, God forbid, there is something of a similar nature, which is which is impacting in such a huge manner. We don't expect any more postgraduate work permit extension. So if you are preparing, planning and getting sold on to the idea by all your agents that you will get extra uh, extensions, etc., please do not buy into that. As of right now, if you are coming to Canada to study only because it leads to a permanent residence pathway, think, think hard, prepare, plan, research, know your pathway, know the journey for every single day that you are here in Canada as an international student. And only then make that decision because otherwise as hundreds and thousands of international students are very soon going to realize that all that money that they have spent all the tax dollars they have contributed to all the hours that they have worked very hard sweating in those sweatshops at that uh, at the low paying jobs it's not going to take them anywhere permanent residence is not going to happen i know some of you might get offended some of you might not like it some of you might even click off and, and walk away, which is absolutely fine. But somebody is going to tell you, somebody is going to shake you up and tell you, listen, guys, you are still living a dream, which is not going to turn into a reality because you haven't put in the enough effort. Because even now, I talk to so many people every day in terms of consultations, right? Booked out calendars. And yet people are asking me, my score is 470. My work permit is expiring in one month, two months, three months. What should I do? When we start breaking down, we realize they haven't maxed out their IELTS or their language skills scores. They can easily touch 500, but that is where the effort is not there. I mean, yes, I can understand that it might be difficult. The other option, what is the other option? You get an LMIA, which you and I know what the market is all about, or you find an employer who will support you, or you do another credential in terms of doing a master's, or you go back to your home country, or you take up French as a second language. These are the only options. So what are you going to do? But you don't want to put in the effort, the time behind your IELTS or your self. -pip. Take classes if you have to. Go for the language skills courses if you have to. Retake as many times as you have to. But probably that even 0.5 factor increase in your score is going to make a huge, huge, huge difference. I I, I do not know what, how more, how much more politely I can tell you that you are being fooled into thinking that there is a unicorn that you will find, or there is a rainbow that is just waiting for you, sort of, you know, and for you to find a pot of the gold at the end of the rainbow. If you do not shake yourself up, wake yourself up and get this done, yeah, probably look for the cheaper one-way tickets back home because that is what it will resort to. That's all for me for today. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, Happy holidays. Uh, enjoy this month of December. It's it's very nice. There has been some good news and some not so good, but primarily everything to look forward to as we move into the next year.